This spreadsheet AI is able to take in Excel files as arguments as well as comma separated values. So for a demonstration here, just to start off, I just gave it some sample data and it created this simple graph, but just for some capabilities and I asked it what it can do. It can do data analysis and interpretation, spreadsheet management, visualization, forecast, forecasting and predictive modeling. This is very handy in AI making machine learning models, um, custom spreadsheets and data cleaning. And I'm gonna show you why this one is different than other ones like GPT 3.5 and this is because this one actually has a built-in code interpreter so it can run this and it can show you everything to do. So to start this off, I'm just gonna, all you need to do is click this little clip and you can attach your file that you want. So I'm gonna attach an Excel file here. After it's uploaded, this is a spreadsheet.csv here, and I'm just gonna tell what I want it to do. I'm gonna say, sum up the total sales, forecast a per month sale data. Forecast per month, let's go for per month. And so now it's gonna take this in, and it's gonna say analyzing. Whenever it says analyzing, this is using GPT-4, that's what this model is based off of, and chat GPT-4 is from OpenAI, and analyzing, it's gonna write code. It's gonna do all this code here. So normally with other models, if you give them a ton of data, it won't be able to do anything with it because it has to read through it manually and put it in. But now with the code interpreter, it can just take this directly. It writes the code instead of it having to take in the CSV directly. It can take in the code. It can take it in through the code. So we're, all we're going to do here is you go total sales equals this and sum it. We can just use the built-in functions of Python. This is going to use Python for all this stuff. So you can also see what it's doing and how it did it to find errors in that. So in here, it's going to do more analyzing. It's going to forecast. And this is a big CSV. Let me remind you, this is huge. A normal model, you couldn't provide that many things into it just by going into the text box. The only reason we can do this is because of the clip arrow and because of the built-in code interpreter here for Python. And now it's finally finished here as it's writing. So what it is, is, is that sometimes it occurs errors in analyzing because of mismatches in the code. And the code I provided had purposeful errors. Lengths of arrays are different. I didn't put in the proper timestamp and it'll tell you what the error it found in it and what it did. You can view its analysis here if you want to see more, but it won't show the Python code if it doesn't need to, but you can always view it. But then finally, we were able to get the forecasted sales per month. And look at all this. And if you want to see the analysis, you can always click this little blue thing here. And it did all this work here and gave us this output. But what else can it do? It can also create eight Excel sheets. You can pass an Excel sheet, it can create it. It gives you a link to download it. And so let's showcase that one. And then I'll show you another capability, which is even more powerful than all of these combined. So for this, I'm going to say, create a new Excel spreadsheet with the forecasted sales and total sales. This is pretty simple, but I just want to show you that you can do this. So it's going to put all this and put it into Excel. Although you can manually enter this, I just want to show you that it's able to do this itself. Because the fact that it can provide this as well as take in is a very handy thing. So now we got our link. I'm just going to click on it. I'm just going to open it in a different tab here. And as you can see here, I open this up in Excel. This is the forecast thing it says here. And you just take all these values and put it right into here. It is rounded here to one decimal place, which is fine. You could probably just say, give it to two decimal places if you want, but it can provide this as well. So just making Excel spreadsheet is handy too. Now let's go into another capability of the spreadsheet AI, which is so powerful. And it's the ability to create graphs. Sometimes you want a simple way to view your data and you don't want to write your code. You don't want to do this. You can just upload your file and write one thing. So I'm going to say with the data, I'm going to see if I can test it to see if it can memorize the data that I already gave in. So I don't need to do it again. So I'm going to say with the data I provided in CSV, show me a pie graph, a box chart, and a histogram. So now I told it to do different things, and I didn't tell it what I want. I want to just say, show me a pie graph, a box chart, and histogram of what you feel is the best data. So this is subject to it, but of course with your data, whatever you want, what your goal is, you're gonna ask for specific info, which it will be able to do. In fact, it's actually better when you give it more info because creativity is not the best case for ChatGPT. Well, this is a version. So basically, let me explain more while we're waiting here. This spreadsheet AI is based off of GPT-4, but it's tailored with thousands of examples. So it's very good at doing spreadsheets. It's very good at data visualization, machine learning models, and all this. So if you want to use this, I'm going to link it in the bio here. So it's um, you're going to need GPT-4, which is premium, but all you need to do is click that link to use it, to use spreadsheet AI, and it, it saved me lots of time. Of course, it's just a tool to your arsenal. It shouldn't take over anything, but it is a game changer when you use it right. Now that it's done, here it is. And so as you can see here, since I did all three side by side, it's pretty squished as you can see here, which isn't bad though. So we still had sales distribution by country. Whatever you need to fix, just say in a GPT, say what's wrong, you'll fix it. Here's the distribution of quantities order, just a histogram. We have our outliers as you can see up here and distribution of sales amounts. And it explains everything that it does. So between the number crunching, the fact that it can create machine learning models to forecast trends, predict different things, just say what you want. Um, give it your Excel sheets, give it the comma separated values, and it can create graphs, can create those Excel sheets. 
That's what makes Spreadsheet AI very powerful. So I'm gonna link this again, it's linked in the bio. And if you wanna stay up to date on AI and all these different AIs I'm gonna be showcasing that can help you and just to learn and they're pretty neat things, just feel free to subscribe and like this video and let me know what you wanna see next.